Hello everyone, this is Jonathan once again with a let's play of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. And in this part, we shall see many things. It's very interesting how this game shapes up in this part. This part is after the... So you like save the cats, or not save the cats, you open the, the safe, and then you ha go through the water, and then there's the one-eyed fish th robot thing, and then this is where you end up, this is a boss battle between these fiery dudes and him. But basically what happens in this part is, you gotta get drunk, of course, let's conquer. Get drunk, and then, while drunk, he has a special ability. You are able to press the B button, but instead of hitting with your flying pan, you're hitting them with your P. Yep, he whips it out and starts P. So basically, in this part, what you have to do is just straight up P on the fire guys, and they like disappear for a second. After a while, the pee, it, yeah, it just, it helps out a lot. <laughs> After a while, you just keep peeing and peeing on them, and then they just get mad at you. Sorry about the bad quality the video. There's not much you can do. It's on Nintendo 64, and I don't have any recording software for that. <laughs> Alrighty, big boss here, a lot of interesting features about this boss you will see in a little bit. <laughs> Sounds really poncy, this game cracks me up. This is a very interesting game. It's very, very funny, and this, we shall be, uh, as you can see, he has balls of steel or brass, whatever. Balls of brass, or whatever he says. <laughs> Finally polished. Who knows what Conker's saying there? I can't see because of the quality. But you could hear what he says. Okay, so basically, what you have to do to defeat this boss is pull that lever and, like, poo water falls on him or something. But you gotta get him on the, on the draining square thing. You miss. So yeah, you get the poo water on them. So as you can see here, I'm doing terrible work. Doing what I have to do. But, sacrifices have to be made. But right here, I think I get them. Yeah, I get them. Wait for it. No, I don't. I'm not there yet. Ooh, he tries to get me there. He almost gets me. Twirl away. You get away from yeah, like right there. You jump up and get him. You got him. Then poo water falls on him. And then not only does poo water fall on him, is something else that drops on his nuts. And then you get two bricks, and that looks like the most painful thing you will ever see in a video game. You can't mess. You can't mess around with your manhood like that. Two bricks to oh god. Two bricks to the nuts. Yeah, so you keep repeating the same process for three times, I think. Yeah, so yeah, go to the next corner, do the same thing, jump up, wait for him. You gotta get his attention, that's the thing. If you don't get his attention, he's just gonna wander around. So yeah, get him again in the corner. Yeah, jump up, got him. Again, you get poo water on him, his nuts drop. Or his balls and brass balls drop, and you hit him with two bricks. Oh god! Yeah, that happens. And then you run away again, and then you repeat. It's it's a re rinse repeat. It's a really easy boss. You don't you won't lose life. Actually, it's really easy not to lose life. But if he stomps on you, you most likely you lose like two two chocolates. Like there, you almost got me with this five. I think after a while, like. The, the drain, 
switch like goes away, you gotta find, like, go to another corner on purpose, so, ooh, like right there, he just stomped on me, to <laughs> find out. Even though this game is really adult oriented, it still has cartoony features, like right there, he got flattened. Uh, reminds me a lot of like, Roger Rabbit, the Roger Rabbit movie. Who framed, uh, that's what it's called, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yep, that's a good reference to how this game is, except it's more bloody and gory. So yeah, here you go, it's a rinse and repeat action, wait for him, I think this, after this, after this you, we have one more shot, to the nuts, <laughs> so I'm gonna say that. Nothing there. It's, it's, yeah, so you just keep looking for it. Uh, there's one right there. So yeah, we wait for him to get. We jump up. Ooh, somehow we missed. Wow, that's funny. So uh, this is. It's really. It's really maddening or frustrating when he just walks away from you. You can't really do anything about it. You gotta get his attention. I mean, it's something you can deal with. But, yeah, it's part of the game. It's like, yeah, right there, you almost got me. I think he gets me here. Yeah, he got me there, but it's okay. There's a cho hovering chocolate. But that's the best part about this game. Like, the chocolate, like, respawns. <laughs> and it floats for some reason. So for, that's I think that might be a glitch right there. When he, like, I'm on the thingy on the handle and then he gets me with his fire I don't know I don't know if that should be happening this part is really funny just hammers his nuts off <laughs> this game is too funny I'll stop talking a little bit for this cutscene Yeah, so it blows up, man. Let's see what we use. So in this part right here, you gotta get the balls. And you gotta roll it into the to a crevice that there is over there. But for some reason, I decided to be an idiot and just roll it all the way around the whole thing. Well, that fire guy was chasing me. So yeah, you see me rolling. You see me rolling. So yeah. It's right there by that pipe next to that cho uh, on that chocolate. And then the ne yeah, I don't know why I would do that. So anyways, the next thing you do, you get the other one. This time I know I'm not supposed to go all the way around. The other one. And you roll it down that corridor. And you'll see what happens when you do that. <laughs> Yep, that's how you progress in this game. This, that has to be one of the funniest boss battles in this game. Yep. So, of course, Conquer gets money through the greedy squirrel. Cutie, greedy squirrel. squirrel. <sighs> so witty. He reminds me a lot of Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. He's a, uh, he's a smart talker. Yep. So here's another cutscene. This part's pretty funny. As you can see the things breaking. Promising ten percent of the cash he was gonna get, but they only have ten dollars, so they outwitted him this time. But wait, look what he does. He 
you. <clears throat> As you can see, dog's breaking off his chains. Whew. It's going to get interesting real quick. Wow. This has to be one of the bloodiest parts of this game. It's kind of disturbing, but it's, uh, if you like follow the cats you make like in the story, these cats like deserve it for what they did the, the conquer and stuff. Like that's really bloody. That's really that's really messed up. Yep, that's how this game functions. So yeah, I'll stop here, guys. I'll let you watch the little the little bit that's left. There's not much left. It's a couple seconds. And yeah, it's pretty much the dog smashing away at these cats, like chomping on them, destroying the crap out of them. Yeah, I'll let you guys be. All right, thank you for listening, and I'm out. Uh -huh.